We've got uh, Curtis Southern versus uh, Warren Phillips. <coughs> Curtis is a two times uh, national wrestling champion for the University right, of Saskatchewan and Junior Huskies. He's been wrestling since corner. age eight. Fantastic. He's going to have some skills. Gonna have some, we're going to see some fantastic takedowns tonight. Looking for huge dumps. Yep. Curtis Southern. And again, you're going to be able to see this guy's ground skills. He's going to have great base. He's going to move really well. He's going to be going in quick, quick for the shot. Quick yeah. and powerful. And don't expect Warren Phillips to take this guy down to the ground. It's not going to happen. Warren Phillips has 18 months of mixed martial arts experience. He doesn't have a lot of background. Uh, he feels pretty confident about this match. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm leaning towards uh, Curtis Southern here. But if he's got any, any kind of skills to back up his wrestling, uh, I'm sure he's, got a, he's been training submissions. He should do well. Uh, Warren Phillips out of uh, Shears Martial Arts in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Um, he's got a 2-0 uh, record. He fought uh, number 17 and number 20, Rumble in the Cage, in uh, Lethbridge, Alberta. Uh, did quite well there. He won by triangle, and I believe rear naked choke. So he's he's obviously got some uh, skills on the ground. Some skills. We saw a previous matchup between these two clubs, Alliance MMA and Shears, in fight number two with Adam Lorenz and Jose Rodriguez. I, uh, as you recall, that fight was won uh, by Adam Lorenz with a uh, arm triangle. Looking forward to seeing what these two men are going to put out today. Yeah. I think uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu pr practitioners uh, do, do a lot of groundwork, have a lot of respect for wrestlers, and vice versa. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Uh, I've been training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for about nine years now, and uh, it's really nice to get the wrestlers into the, into the gym because they do bring a lot of experience. And, uh, you know, a lot of really good balance and base uh, to the training. And uh, it's nice to see him training. It's good. You know, Daryl, we were talking earlier about cauliflower ears. You've probably seen this a lot on wrestlers. Yeah. Where uh, the cartilage uh, hemorrhages and swells. And the reason that that cartilage doesn't go down is because it's a relatively avascular. Cartilage is a relatively avascular uh, tissue. So it doesn't have good blood supply. So as soon as, as, soon as it breaks down a bit and fluid serious fluid comes in it just can't get out it doesn't get washed out by by good blood flow exactly and so yeah. it just leaves is this big big cauliflower like looking mass on your on yeah, the sides and of that your comes head from friction doing those shots the friction that's against right the body yeah constantly rubbing ears against the body against the mat yeah you got to catch that quickly and get a good doctor yep. to drain that usually uh you know either with an incision or with a, a syringe here we go Oh. Quickly goes for the shoot. Nice. Back to the knees. Up. Oh! Beautiful. Yes, right it into the, right into the mesh. Warren is going to try and pull him back into his guard. He's in the Shears corner. Which isn't going to be to his advantage. He's surfing him now a little bit. Now he's working to his back, it looks like. Warren is trying to get his guard. He's got half guard here. Oh, he's going to come out the back. Could be a leg lock there. No, he scoots around. Trying to get that other knee in there. Curtis with side control. Curtis, no stranger from this position in wrestling. This is where you want to be. Curtis with now good Curtis side control. got to work a submission oh, here. Or he wants. rain down some punches. Yeah. Warren's going to try to use those legs to... Uh, Sweep to grapple out of there, perhaps get a sweep. Uh, he's not doing anything but squeezing his head right now. Uh, Curtis doesn't have, a, have to worry a lot here. Um, I rarely see this. There it is, pops, which is fine. Could have a guillotine here. He could be going for one. He could get the setup. What he wants to do now is get to his back and sink in his hooks. That's when you get both heels on the inside of uh, the guy on the bottom's inner thigh. From that position, you got a lot of control and you can work your chokes, your rear naked choke, etc. Here we got a scarf hold. Warren should be able to come out the backside here. Oh, 
Going for an American lock. If he can slip his hands through his legs and pull up on his head, uh, he could have a submission. Warren, uh, Warren working the American lock. He does have it. He's got it through his legs. Oh, this is now he's just going to pull up on his head. Could have that. As soon as he locks it in, he's just going to bring his upper leg over top of that, triangle the arm. Oh, he could have had that. That could have been the end of the fight right there. Maybe we can see some strikes here from Oh, Curtis stands oh, it up. dumps him again on. It's going to be hard to stay standing. This is a headlock escape that Warren's attempting for. He's got he's to get the leg around his head and try to come out the back. Oh, he's going for full mounts here. He's got it. He's got one on under, arm underneath. He can either rain the punches or go for a, a triangle. Now he's got his hooks in. This is the position I was talking about earlier. There we go. Warren bucks him up. With the hooks in, he wants, to, he wants to maintain the hooks. Oh. And now go for the matayao, they say in Brazil, or the rear naked choke. Should be able to finish him with that. There we go. I wouldn't play too long with the punches from that position, and uh, this is what's going to happen. It's been reversed on him. You want to go quickly to the submission. But this round is almost up for Tom, I think. What a great round. Oh, oh and he sunk in the rear naked, but he faces him. Perfect. Oh. He's got nothing there. He's got nothing. Oh, no, he doesn't have anything. He's safe. He can still breathe. He's got air. He's going to pop that arm and again come to the full mount. There we go. Now... Now he should be going for the choke. Because he just doesn't have the balance firing those punches from the back. The referee might have to cut in here pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, no hammer fist to the back of the head. I think he's okay. He's, uh, he's protecting himself. Uh, the back of the, the head is probably no talking to him, zone. saying, hey, you okay? You okay? You want to keep fighting? Yeah. Opportunity for an arm bar there. Yeah. Sitting three quarters. He may have stopped that Delamar fight a little early, you know, and, and he's probably thinking, okay, well, he doesn't want to make that mistake again. Um, Possibly, but this is a different fighter, and we've got we've got Warren Phillips who's referees. protecting his head. He's protecting well. Um, what he really needs to do is get back to his guard. But uh, he's not making any. There we go. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get back to his guard here now. Now Curtis could get it sink in the choke. Let's finish it right here. But he wants to. He's going to make it through the round. There we go. He looks like there he's going to make it. Rear naked attempt. Rear yeah. naked attempt. He's trying to keep his jaw in there to prevent pressure on those carotids. He needs to grab his bicep. Put the other hand. He's going to make his... it to the end of the round. Oh, it could be close. He needs oh, to I get see that bicep coming in underneath. He needs to the get his bicep. Oh, he's, he's got I think more. It's going to be over here very shortly. He's got more of a wrestling rear naked there. He doesn't really have the bicep. Oh, and he's Curtis Southern from Saskatoon, saved by the bell there, Dennis. That was a pretty uh, convincing win. Yeah, looks like he's been cut. Looks like he's been cut. Be interesting, uh, Terry Ross, our doctor tonight. Uh, be interesting to see if he's going to go in there and actually take a look at the cut. See how uh, see how uh, how bad it is. Here we go with our ring girls announcing round two. This is the kind of action you can expect here at the Ultimate Martial Arts Challenge. That was a great round. There's a lot of a lot of transitioning. It's great to see some fantastic grappling. Yeah. These guys, Dominance of position. These guys did lose, use a lot of energy in that first round, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, in the next round here. Looks like Warren Phillips uh, out of Saskatoon here, and Curtis Southern. Oh! Another Curtis with another beautiful You can just hear the down. floor just reverberate with those, with those takedowns. Yeah. Okay, they're going to work him for down position. Hard. Now, here's a dangerous spot for a wrestler. Underneath, looks like uh, Warren's going for the uh, the arm bar. Couldn't or quite. something. The, uh, well, yeah, a little sloppy, but at, at this point in the match, you know, these guys are tired. Uh, they're sweaty. It's hard to get that. Hard to get the position.